If we assume that the vision of a floating city in the sky that was seen in Foshan by thousands of people was just some kind of optical illusion, I find it highly coincidental that the same vision is seen hundreds of miles away, a few days later, in another city called Zhangjing, also witnessed by thousands of people. Could thousands of people across China have really witnessed some type of alien base or mothership floating in the sky? And if so, might it be evidence of extraterrestrials making their presence known? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest there have been many more cases of alien entities appearing in the skies above China, cases that the government could not ignore. Zhejiang Province, China, July 7th, 2010. Just after 8.40 p.m., the Hangzhou Xiaoshan International Airport, which serves over 70,000 passengers a day, is suddenly shut down. All outbound flights are grounded, and inbound flights are diverted to nearby airports. The cause of the shutdown was an unidentified flying object seen streaking across the night sky by a flight crew preparing for descent. Xiaoshang Airport is one of the largest in China. And that's very important. It's a very busy airport. What happened on July 7 is that a pilot from an incoming passenger airplane noticed something very unusual coming towards him. He notified the ground crew, and the airport was shut down because a comet-like object was basically speeding towards the airport. There was a trail behind it that was a glowing oval-shaped object. The object was also witnessed and photographed by numerous Hangzhou residents. When the UFO was seen, all hell broke loose. Flights were diverted, the military was contacted to see if they were test flying anything in the area, which they weren't. This is the third such incident in five years in China where the presence of a UFO has either shut down an airport or caused havoc and amazement amongst the populace. And it's clearly something that the Chinese government want to shut down and play down. It could also be due to the fact that the Chinese have realized they're not in control of their airspace, somebody else's. The Xiaoshan event is only one of the events of this kind. The same thing happened in Guizhou province. At that time, the pilots were instructed to avoid the UFO, ground their aircrafts, and return to the air after the event, which can provide evidence of the existence of the UFO phenomenon. While many in the United States view the UFO phenomenon as distinctly American, recent surveys have shown that roughly half of the 1.4 billion Chinese people believe in UFOs and extraterrestrial life. And ancient astronaut theorists suggest that despite the Chinese government's dismissal of recent UFO events, it now appears they too are taking an interest in otherworldly phenomena. It's incredibly popular in China to be a member of a UFO community that's trying to make contact with extraterrestrial beings. The Chinese government is closely monitoring this, and in fact, they're financing some of these research groups. So one wonders, is the Chinese government starting to view our contact with extraterrestrial beings as something simply too strong to deny? Could recent events be forcing the Chinese government to take a greater interest in examining possible extraterrestrial encounters. Encounters that they have secretly known about for years. Ancient astronaut theorists say yes, and suggest that China's effort to manufacture the world's largest radio telescope is an explicit mission towards the search for alien life. <laughs>